I'm working on this John Deere X300 today for my next door neighbor over there. And uh, kind of a cu funny customer complaint. The complaint was I can turn the steering wheel left, but not right. And uh, the reason for that is because there's a small pinion gear. Um, I can't show you easily. Well, I guess I can show you right down there. That little guy comes from the steering wheel and he runs across this uh, essentially rack, like a rack and pinion. They call this the steering gear. And um, on the old one, you can see there's some damaged teeth. And so basically he was able to move within this range, but as soon as he tried to get over there, it wouldn't work. Um, no surprise that the middle three or four wore out because that's where you spend most of your time is dead center. Uh, so basically he could turn the steering wheel left and the wheels would move, but then when he got right, it just kind of free spun and he couldn't get over here. I actually was able to get it over here and then I could turn right, but then not left. So anyway, I got this new part. Um, about $135 from John Deere, and it's a bit of a pain to get out. Uh, I mean, it probably took me 20 minutes. It wasn't anything I looked up on how to do, but it wasn't that complicated. I'll just walk you through it. Um, you're going to need to take the steering wheel off. That's pretty easy. That's just uh, 15 sixteenths, and then you got to kind of pry or pound it off. Then you got to take off uh, this, which is also 15 sixteenths, and this is seated down there in that hole. And uh, it's not even really on that tight, so I just used half inch and some extensions. And you have a bunch of these washers, keep them in order. And then you have this bushing. It's uh, very nice that John Deere did this and this, because if not, that hole would have been much smaller and it would have been much harder to get out. Basically, um, you pop this and that out and all of a sudden the whole thing wobbles real easily and it's easier to get out. Anyhow, there's also a cotter pin up in here that you need to remove and some washers that should stay in place. And then you can kind of pound the pinion shaft or the steering wheel shaft. I'm not exactly sure what John Deere would call it so that it's um, down all the way at the bottom there. You need to pop out the um, drag links or tie rods uh, pretty simple there. That's a 16, 17 millimeter, excuse me. And as you loosen them, uh, the balls are going to free spin. So you need to grab uh, the little hex that's on there with something like that. I don't know what size it is. I just used an adjustable. And then it's going to be a bit of finagling. Um, don't uh, get too upset. What you're going to want to try and do is play with different positions of that shaft up and down, wiggle it, um, and basically jiggle, jiggle that whole assembly out the bottom. Now, there is one thing you can do to really help yourself. So long as the pinion gear that I just showed you underneath there is in contact with this, or even when you pop the pinion gear below it and this is touching the shaft, you're not going to be able to get it out. So what you want to do is once the drag links are disconnected and everything's loose and floppy, you're going to want, and it'll take some time, it, it, it kind of takes some finagling. I didn't think it was possible at first, but it is. You want to turn this all the way in one of the two directions so that the shaft, which I'll illustrate here, instead of riding here, pops over here. And by doing that, it allows this assembly to go more in this direction, which allows this thing, which is kind of caught on an angle, to slip on out. It's one of those things... You can't really describe like a precise procedure. There's a bit of play with it till it's out kind of thing. No pun intended. Um, but uh, yeah, it works. So I don't know if the manual says to do more than that. I don't have a manual. And uh, I do look up manual, you know, procedures for some stuff, but this, this wasn't that complicated. So steering wheel bolt. Um, uh, essentially, this is the fixture bolt. This is what holds the whole thing on. It's also what, well, it's the pivot bolt, I guess. Pivot nut. And then uh, keep track of your washers and then the drag links, 17 mil, and then uh, just a bit of back and forth. So, yeah, the customer complaint could be only turns left, only turns right, or steering feels bad, or, you know, who knows. But um, the um, this is not hardened to the best of, yeah, this is not hardened, but the gear down there is. So in my case, the gear was in good enough condition. It didn't need replacing right here. Uh, if it did need replacing, so far as I can tell, this is a solid shaft all the way up to here. So you would have to drop the deck and you'd really have to lift the machine up to get that out. So hopefully yours is okay. But um, you can see all of this just by looking down right here. Just, you know, lift up the hood 
and inspect there. As you turn the wheel back and forth, you'll probably be able to see your problem. And I don't know if it's supposed to be lubricated uh, as part of the maintenance. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't really do a lot of maintenance on machines. I'm more interested in repairs. I don't like being a lube tech, essentially. But um, if you do own one of these and it's happened to you, or if you own one of these and you don't want it to happen to you, I would suggest uh, lubricating it with a really heavy lithium uh, grease, something like that, which will stay in place. And um, I always tell people, you know, wash these things. Uh, this guy doesn't wash his very often, but um, you want to keep these things washed. Um, you really won't hurt much. Um, yeah, he's not taking that good of care of it, as you can see. But uh, wash these things down. It'll save you some of those problems. Um, debris getting stuck inside those gears, things like that. And uh, yeah, keep your stuff clean. And if you're worried about, um, you know, spraying water in here, um, I would start with, you know, something just like the rain, you know. Um, you know, don't like get in there with a high pressure wand. Um, but for the most part, you really won't hurt things. The electronics, all of that, they can, they can suffer some water, especially if you run the machine afterwards and you let it get hot and cook all the moisture off or if you let it sit in the sun for a long time. But yeah, try and keep them clean and this kind of stuff won't happen. So anyway, I hope you like that. If not, no problem. Give this thing a thumbs down. Let me know if you did like it. I'm happy about that. And uh, go check out Steve's Small Engine Saloon or Donnie Boy, the Small Engine Doctor. Both of those guys are pretty good. They're probably more interesting than me. And in the meantime, have a great day.